Hello everybody and welcome once again to Running Red, a hardcore questing mod pack from Gideon Seymour. Today I promised to do witchery and at the end of the last episode I created a meteor and that landed and I then cleaned it up. So I took, actually I took the bound pickaxe and I applied to the bound pickaxe silk touch in efficiency 5 activated it, stood on the top of the meteor, right clicked a few times and it cleared it all up, including the platform at the bottom and the thing it does is it pulls the inventory to you and what I got out of it was 52 diamond ores and I want about 5 of those and an emerald ore <coughs> excuse me and what you do with those, well what I do with them anyway is to put them into pulverizer and I'll show you why so if you look what the usages of the diamond ore are. If you smelt it, either in a normal furnace, you can get in the enrichment chamber, you can get two diamonds. Redstone furnace, you get one. Pulverizing, you get two. So I've chosen to pulverize because the rest of it's fairly straightforward. So, so that's, and the same goes for emerald ore. So let's put those into there. And they've disappeared. Well, they haven't really. They just come into here. So we've got two emeralds, four diamonds. We should get ten diamonds. There we go. We do actually need a lot of diamonds in this for witchery. Now, the first thing we've got to do in witchery is to build an altar. So let's build the altar to start with. So the altar is this block, if I can see it here. So we need a breath of goddess, a water bottle, and exhale of the horned one. Now, those are all created in the, the witch's oven with fumes. So we need the breath of goddess, we need two of these, we need the which one was the, the horned one? Exhale of the horned one. We need two of those as well. And we need two water bottles, which I don't have. Simple water bottles I don't have. Let's go and make some of those first of all. In fact, there's another thing I should make as well while I'm here. In fact, let's make about, it'll make three each one. So let's make four. Four. Well, when I say four, I mean twelve. So we need a water bottle. We need two water bottles. So let's just get two water bottles like that. And before I go from here, I wanted to also make a book. And the book I want to make is this one: Brews and Infusions. So if I click this one, so we need a belladonna, which I've got, a normal book, which I've got, a feather, which I've got, oh, and odour of purity, which I haven't got. So we have to do that first. So the first thing we have to do is to finish off the altar. So let's go and do that. So here we are. So now we need to make the altar. So the altar was this one, wasn't it? I haven't got the stones with me there in the other chest. So we need a bottle of water. Exhale of the horned one and breath of the goddess. Then we need two rowing blocks and four stones. So let's have a look. We need eight stone in total and four rowing woods. You need to other because you need to make twelve you need to make six items. Like that. So we don't oh we need a second water bottle. So make the sixth twelfth. And what you do with this is you come along and you put it down near greenery. So here's a good place. So let's put it on oops, wrong. It goes flat. Oh I wouldn't have thought done that 20 times would you and then when you when it's an actual altar it changes form and if you right click it it tells you its power now we can increase that power 
fairly easily. So the first thing we can do is we can put a wither skeleton skull on it. Or a skeleton skull, but since we don't have any, say we're 1 times 350, 336. Now right click it, it's already gone up to 3 times 1664, and that means the area it's pulling things from. So as you can see, it's now pulling from a wider area. And we can do other things as well. We've got some flowers down here. If I dig up these three glass block, grass blocks, and then go and put some soul sand in here. Let's dig it. That's actually fine. A little bit of a cough. But I've got plenty of salt sand in here. Well, three wasn't it? And when that matures, that will also help the altar. Sixteen twenty now. It was give us sixteen eighteen before. So, let's put this, we don't need that nether wart with us at the moment. So now the altar's complete. So it's now going to power this thing so that no entry sign is gone from last time. So the first thing we need to make is fumes of, we need some, we have a magic exhale of the horned one, clay jars we don't need, clay jar we need, this one foul fumes I will actually make four the rebirth of misfortune breath of the goddess we need four foul fumes and we need four of these quick limes and if I put those in and I think the foul fume goes at the top and I think the order is important I'm not 100% sure we should get out of here oil of vitro I think it is and some other things. And when we're when finished, we want those. And we want to use some diamonds to make some diamond vapor. Because the whole point of this is to make this contraption. For so we need some diamond vapor. We've done these already. Item frames, two feathers. Actually, I'm not sure I've got enough feathers with me. So what have we got in here? None. Okay. I'm going to have to just have a look, put my jetpack back on and fly over here, if it's enabled, which it is, and get a few more feathers. And now of course that means chickens. Actually we have plenty of chickens, so oh, I can't get that one. There we go. Uh, a few more chickens. Another one down here. What have we got now? For this 23. That's fine. And if we walk around here, just pick up a few more eggs. Come out of the way. We've oh, actually got some belladonna here. And some black blue So I just throw these eggs. And try not to hit the animals, they go crazy. Oops. That said, we might get another chicken. It's not enough. The animals don't like me having eggs thrown at them. I might have extended the base a bit since last time as well. They'll be working quite hard with the bees. We've got various bees now. So, what did I want to do? I actually also need to make uh, feathers, that was right, we need feathers. So let's come back here. And it was this recipe we were doing, wasn't it? So we need two feathers in here. Where's it gone to? There we are. And the tormented string that's actually the hardest bit to get the picture frame no problem and the rest of we, we the diamond vapors also no problem we should be ready to do that now actually yes we've got four 
So if I now take this oil of a troller, I put four diamonds in here, we should get some diamond vapour. I think four is about enough actually. Because one of the things I want to do is to make a spinning wheel. Let's put the diamonds away. Oh, two chick real chickens as well. There's all those feathers, which is good. Some slime balls, which is less useful. And we should actually also make Northana. Excuse me, I've got a bit of a cough today. Let's take a bit, let's come back over here actually and take a few more of those. We're going to need a few nuggets. One of the reasons we need nuggets, we need golden carrots for one of the recipes. So let's take those. And the other recipe we need is Orthana, and I think the Orthana recipe is one emerald. I think it goes like this. Um, one emerald in the middle, one gold ingot at the top, and one stick at the bottom. And I bet I haven't got any sticks. Oh yes, I've got two here, one here, but I need more. Let's just get some sticks. There should be plenty of wood in this chest. Plenty of sticks as well. 32. We'll be fine. Yes, I think that's the recipe. No. Alright, let's do it the easy way. Find the picture of it. It's a little dagger. Which I can't see, of course, because it never can. There we go. Ah, nearly right. I only need two gold nuggets. We could also put this down here. This is actually a witchery tool as opposed to a weapon. It's fairly ineffective as a weapon. Have I that finished brewing yet? Yes, we have. Nearly finished. We can also make a chalice. A chalice is actually quite useful as well. So where is a chalice? Here. So this is one attuned stone, two gold ingots and four nuggets. So let's set that up too. And we have already got two attuned stones. Put one in here. And this chalice is also improves the altar performance. So let's right click it again. So that's 1620. Shift right click it, place it down. Let's have a look. It's already done almost 50% more. So that's good. So anyway. The first thing I want to do is I want to get my whiff of magic out of this chest. Here we go. I'm going to take all of them and I'm going to make some impregnated leather. Now that is I think I'm going to make four sets. I think this is the recipe. And we need diamond vapor. We'll put some of these away. We've got odor of purity, we need that as well. Put those away. Uh, take these four and put those in the middle. And I got it the wrong way around. There we go. So now I've got 12 impregnated leather, that's fine. And with these 12 impregnated leather, we can, we need to make something else, of course. Right, let's get up with this. We need a cauldron. We need to make a kettle. And the kettle's this recipe, and we need a cauldron, some sticks, some string, and a tuned stone. So that's what we need now. I got that already prepared. Here's the ingredients for the cauldron. Some sticks on that and an attuned stone should already be in the chest, it is. So let's have a look. So first of all we need the cauldron. Like that. 
Then we just simply right click this and we should be able to get the witch's oven straight away. And I would like to have from here some stone bricks. And I'm going to put the oven down here, I think. Put that torch back on top of this, because otherwise there's a chance of mobs spawning. And the oven. This thing, I'm going to take it out. Oh, we'll work with that one very easily until it's turned on. I tried doing this earlier on, and I tried doing it with lava, but it didn't work very well with lava. So what I have to use, oops, when I get tangled on the plinth again, is some sauce, salt sun, no, I want netherrack. Wish we've got some in here. We put that down the bottom here. So it's one block below. And then we could fill in this hole. And I should have with me a flint and steel. Not in there. Yes, in here, look. And then we can light this netherrack. And netherrack actually burns forever, so I never need to put this out. Let's bring the stone back here. Wrong one. So if we put that there, then we have a place for the kettle now. Now in the kettle we put water. And I've got a water sickle. Now the water sickle will fill up the kettle, no problem at all. Just simply right click it like that. And we've got water in there now. That's one thing we need to do. The next thing we need to do is also make, before we do any brewing, some um, impregnated leather. I did that one already, didn't I? And we also need the spinning wheel. So the spinning wheel is this recipe. I think I need another, if I'm not mistaken, I need another um, attuned stone for this. Let's have a look at that one. Just looking for it down here. It's there is the necronic, necromatic stone. And I just want the attuned stone. Here we are. That's the attuned stone charge, and this is just the attuned stone. So it's Whiffer Magic, which was the round one. Okay. So we should have all of that we need. One whiff of magic, one diamond. And one lava bucket gives me the attuned stone. So now we want to make the spinning wheel. And that should be here. I might be able to simply, yes I can. Simple right, shift right click worked on this particular case. So we put the spinning wheel down here. Because what I want to do is I want to make a witch's hat and a witch's robes. Now the witch's hat is this recipe. For that we need glowstone, four impregnated leather and this golden thread, which is made from a hay bale with a whiff of magic on the spinning wheel. So hay bales we should also have. I've got 64 of them, too many really. Well I should do this twice, because you never know. Whenever you make one you always need two. Um, so what was that? A hay bale of whiff of magic on the spinning wheel. They so put the hay bale and the whiff of magic in here and it should spin and eventually we will get some golden twine. <coughs> so look. So the recipe for that again was this one. So we have the glowstone and we have some leather. So now we just need is the golden twine. And I reckon we've probably already got some. Yes, we have. Look. Which goes like that. Now we have a witch's hat. We'll also make at the same time a witch's robe. 
Ah, creepers will ignore the wearer. That's interesting. And there's a second. There's also there's a a thirty five percent chance of the second brew. So it helps with brewing as well. For that we need one of golden thread, one creeper heart because we've had a few of those around, and seven impregnated leathers. Take those. Now we'll put those on, and then we'll start to brew. So we need to take these two off and put these two on. So now let's look at ourselves. Yes, very flashy. Don't really look much like a witch, but there we are. So now the next thing we need to do. I wanted to make that book, didn't I? So the book I wanted to make was the brewing potions book, and that was this one. So I should have all of those ingredients, but they're on the other one. So it was that was odor of purity, wasn't it? So we need one of those, and I think that was all prepared on this other crafting table. There we go. So there's uh, quite a few pages, and the one we want is the brew of sleeping but we need to do first of all the brew of love so we need a rose a whiff of magic a water artichoke globe a golden carrot lily pads and cocoa beans strange recipe and the best way to do this is to move everything out of your hot bar except for the items you want to put in so it should be six items and they, the order you put them in, you do it in reverse order. So let's go and get those. So the last thing I think was a globe artichoke. And then it was a... I can't remember already. In fact, let's do it the other way around here. Brew of love. Oh, cocoa beans, globe artichoke, lily pad. Okay. Cocoa beans glued of oh, lily pad. One of rose goes at the first slot. Whiff of magic comes in somewhere. I can't, it's really difficult to remember this stuff actually. Whiff of magic and a lily pad. Okay, so it's a whiff of magic. Lily pad. Go oh, our choke and a golden carrot. I think the audio is not 100% significant, but. We shall see. So what we do is we put these in, and it changes colour. And every time you put it in, it's going to every two items seems to change it to a different colour. This one like light, light so it's sort of spitting out, and then it's ready. So what we then do is we get our water bottles, which I didn't take with me, of course. Oh, that's what we have. And we simply right click this brew. I got five. So normally you get about two or three. So because I'm wearing the robes, I got five brews of love. So which is fantastic, really. The next thing we need to do is to make the brew of sleeping. Let's take that out of the way. Now that was the last item in the brew of sleeping, if I remember rightly. I haven't got it written down, so. Where is the brew of sleeping? It's, not, it's probably easier to type brew or other oh, it is look. Brew of sleeping. So we need purified milk. I haven't made that yet. So we need an odour of purity, a bucket of milk, and three clay jars. Well, we don't have any buckets of milk. We can go and get some of that fairly quickly. Let's do that. I only want one. I probably want them on later on, but who knows? In fact, let's just put the jetpack on and we'll try to remember to change it over. It's turned off, isn't it? Oh, did I not do that? Oh. So, a bucket milk is simply kick, right click a bucket on a cow. There 
and we get our bucket of milk, we could probably walk around and pick up a few more of those eggs. And then throw those eggs down, see if we get another chicken. That cow will now jump around forever. There we go. Right. Oh yes, that's right. Odor of purity we need. This is actually just shape crafting or unshape crafting, I think. So we need three bottles and an odour of purity which we have in this chest here so I just think we have to spread that it doesn't really matter if I'm, if I'm correct odour of purity is one of these there we go three purified milk so we need one purified milk what else do we need one cookie I haven't got that either but that requires wheat and cocoa powder it just requires actually just two wheat and that'll make eight cookies now what else do we need on our brew of sleeping uh, with a magic and an ice needle and an artichoke globe water artichoke globe why do I not keep them in the right chest right here we go water artichoke globe that's actually the last one and with a magic we should already had it have in here yes we do and an icy needle which we do have as well so I think that's everything we need let's just have a quick I don't need want all of these five in here. Let's get rid of just just the one. I double check it because it's always good to double check it. I think that looks right. Well, first of all, we need to put some water in here, of course. So let's get the water. Right, click that on there, and there we go. What's wrong with that cue, huh? Now it looks like that's ready, so we need our water jars. Oh, we just right click this. Of course, I did forget to put my robe on, but I still got five. So I've now got five broods of sleeping. And that's what I need for the next thing, step. Hmm. Because what I need to do is get some cotton tormented cotton so basically I think I need to just do it I ain't sure exactly how this works I've seen it done once but that's it so it's night time string one of these so now I'm downloading the train oh fall in some water that's rather cool Ooh, that's a nice noise. I'm gonna get out of this water. Oh, what's that? Nightmare. Oh, okay, nightmare. Yes, well, that's good because that's where we need to be. Go away, nightmare. As if you can, it might be it's gonna kill me if I'm not careful. How do I get out of this place? Get up there, so. So we're in the real world now. Let's see if we can get out of here without getting killed. Spiders doesn't look so good as a torch. Let's put the torch down here. So, oops, wrong, wrong one railway track. Don't need that anyway because we can't take it with us. So, I have to kill this thing, do I? What? It's got 100 health and I've got no weapons. That's probably a good idea to get out of here. I can't fly. What have we got here? What 
What else we got in here? Creosote bottles, creosote. Nothing really of any, any use. Fire net single leaf, so we could probably capture him. How about that? I'll try. Didn't work. Well, I'm a bit stuck in here. I don't like this at all. What have we got in here? Any weapons? What's this? Stencil? No. Well, maybe no food either. But we have got a pickaxe. Let's see if we can dig our way out of here. Some serratus quartz ore. He's three tall, isn't he? So he can't actually get to me. I can't see anything. I don't, like, I don't really like the sound of this because I can hear water. Sand, wasn't it? Oops, that's what I thought. If I have sand here, then there's water. Can I go forward? Because if I was not, can I just put this stack here? Let's stick this up here. Right, so there's water down there. Uh, this is a weeny bit tricky. What happens if I go straight up? Of course there could be sand above my head. The zombies there. It would be nice to find a way out of here. Not sure this is the best idea. I can block it off, of course. We've got plenty of stone now. What level am I? 43. Oh, I can see a map. Here we are. I didn't look at the map, did I? Well, it looks like I'm actually out of so to speak. That's I'm very soon. Do you know, I don't know how, he, how I wake up out of the stream either. Fifty-two. Well, it doesn't look like there's any water above me, but I can hear a zombie. Day four, I think, is the level. See, so, you know, we could be coming up into a hill. Is that dirt? Well, I think you might have to just die to get out of this nightmare, actually. So I kill it. 
Oops. Yes. Well, that was rather exciting. <laughs> I must say. Anyway, I'm going to have to go and do that again to get some cotton and get past the, wisp the nightmares. If I do this during the day, as it were, when it's not a nightmare, it's just a dream, I might be able to get away, build myself a safe house and do that. So, I shall leave it on that note, and until next time, bye for now.